This is for safety. Basically, if something would happen to us when we get back up to the surface and we're all dead, for example, they can't open the hatch. I would have yeah. done better without hearing that part. <laughs> Yo, what up, happy people? It is your 7.14 a.m. wake up call. Pew, pow! And we are heading to Curacao. And Mav's not happy at all about that. Everyone's super excited. But the most important part, when I was in the Miami Boat Show, I went to a VIP event with Suzuki. And I'm there, and this guy walks up, and he's like, have you ever been to Curacao? I'm like, I've never been to Curacao. He's like, I would love you to come down and stay with us and go fishing and whatnot. And I'm like, that sounds crazy, but I'm gonna do it. This is a one week trip and Sarah literally packs 27 bags. No, is this yeah. mine? Is this mine? No, it's mine. That's mine. No, it is yours. Maverick. Battery, all. <laughs> Maverick. <laughs> come on. We gotta go. Come on. Maverick, come on. Maverick, come on. Come on. Let's go inside. That went pretty well. They're gonna demolish the house. They're like, we'll destroy the house. They'll, then they'll never leave us home again. This is no joke. I'm about to edit the whole swordfish show. And Austin's about to drive. There's Mama. There's Aria. Oh. Hey! We don't have Aria. Miami International Airport. Austin slammed on the brakes about 32 times so far. That's how you know you're in Miami. Dad! Daddy, we can't tell that the bridge called Queen Emma Bridge. They're gonna take care of all the bags and me and Austin are gonna go park the cars. We wanna park in there. Lock. The elevator was broken, and I'm glad it broke before I got on it. You guys, this is crazy. So in line, we're sitting there filling out immigration forms so that we can sit here, check in, get everything dialed in so we can go to Curacao. Mom and dad have never experienced anything out of the country before, so their brains are probably like about to burst. Even down here in Miami with all the madness, you guys do a great job. We really Thank appreciate you. you. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not have TSA pre-check, so Rob, Sarah, and the girls, mom and dad, they're probably all eating breakfast right now and I'm still in line, but I gotta go get TSA pre-check. Let the good times roll, you guys. We just got to Curacao and uh, I honestly edited the entire flight. Are you Robert Aries here? Would I you am, for I am. Dear me for dinner, you oh got it. Can I have God. a kiss? <laughs> Not sure how, but they allowed Don and Keith into the country, which... See, your camera's doing it too. That's yeah, what mine was doing. It's because of the light. That's what I said. These lights are a different kilohertz right. than our camera's filming. Um, that's why Austin changed mine. Fishing gear! Get that camera Get it, get it! Get, 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 get that! I need you! We got cameras and fishing gear. Nothing else matters. Check this out. You guys made it in one piece. How you oh, doing, man? one piece, one piece, man. What's your name? What's up, Derek? Nice Derek. Hey, Derek. I'm yes, Sarah. I'm sorry. We met at the show last time. How are you? Yes, nice to meet you. <laughs> What's up, y'all? <laughs> Subscribe now. My first thought when getting here is it's very low key. There's not like a whole crowd of people. It's very chill very clean feel right at home y'all this is a part of the abc islands the dutch indies we're the aruba bonaire and curacao we're in the curacao part curacao is by far the best island always has been yeah always has been. that's why we came here this is the queen emma bridge we're on it, emma. there's your boat honey oh yeah it's got a helicopter pad on it even gotta get groceries what's the currency called guru gyru he said the currency is 1.78 to our dollar. It's like super clean. Everyone's all happy. Everyone's cruising around. Austin's getting wasabi and soy. 
one more ear. That's just in case, y'all. Snyder's. Pennsylvania. It's like a burnt, stale piece of bread, but Austin loves them. American, yeah. This place is cool, man. What's your name? Nathaniel. Nathaniel? Yeah. Very nice to meet you, man. Yeah, me too. You did a very good job. Okay, thank you. Woo! Welcome home. We're here. I'm starting to really like Curacao. This place was nice. <laughs> right? Look at this. Can I just say wow? Welcome home, guys. <laughs> Jones's house just for you guys. Aww. Because of, of the pool and, and whatnot. Hey, this is our first time traveling abroad and they just retired um, and we wanted to, to make this as special as possible. Are you kidding me? The pool is so warm. Wow. We're Go here ahead. for a week. Look the temperature of the water. It's perfect. It's warm. Are we allowed to fish right there? Yeah, we can fish. They're, they said there's millions of snook, jacks, and tarp in here. Already asked them. All right, we're about to uh, look at look at this, man. I need one of these chairs for my office. This is what I need to film in. Well, what a way to get this thing started. We're here with Yins. Is that a Yins with a Z or an S? It's a J E N S. <laughs> we're with Yins. But in English, it looks like Jens. He owns Curacao Marine here, and uh, he has something very special lined up that only I would accept. Jackie, yeah. put it a little bit more. So when they're tapping on there, that, that's them looking for a bulkhead or a stringer so they can mount the boat. This is our first morning, and we're about to do something crazy. Here's the scoop. I thought we were doing something crazy. We're doing something really crazy. Here's a sub, as in submarine, as in, yeah. We're about to go down a thousand feet into the ocean. Because it's so rough, we can't go fishing right now. This is our custom built, handmade submarine. She was built in Vancouver by Nutco. She's good to depths over a thousand feet. I like have weird feelings right now. We're about to do this right now. Me and that lizard, we're going in that. Down a thousand feet. Let's go. Got us a hamburger, some french fries. Mm. Oh, here we go. If you come to Curacao, oh. you have got to come to the sea right here. Let's go. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> All right, you guys. It has blown my mind. Like Curacao, I've never been here before. And I've only been here like less than one day now. But this is really cool. This is I, we're we're already going on a sub. Here we go. Ready? I'm gonna shoot some pictures of you outside. Oh, that's so cool. No, I save it for in here. I guess it's important to use a bathroom before you get on this thing. And according to Sarah, it's good that I wash my feet. Here's my cup. Show you how we go in. Yeah, so this is the air conditioning hose, so just keep it cool inside. Whatever you do, just sit like this. Yeah? Put your feet up like that. Hold on over here and lower yourself down. Okay. Yeah? Okay. We're going in, y'all. Almost there. That's it. Down, down, down we go. Where we go, no one knows. All right, you got your water? No, stay on, stay on one side? Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, you're gonna stay in the front. Hold on, let me get comfortable here. Okay, you guys, we're in the sub. Look at that, he's out there. Here comes. Oh, yeah. Yins. Here we go. Yins. It's been a Is minute. that with a Z or an S? A W. W! <laughs> <laughs> it's been a minute. There How we... cool is this? What's up, what's up? Did we get Wi-Fi on here? Oh yeah. <laughs> Starlink, we got Starlink. Can we get Wi-Fi? 
Do I have salt surplus? <laughs> yeah. The answer is no, buckwheat. Right here, or right there. And those give us clean air. We're in a confined area here. So if we breathe, we fill it up with carbon dioxide. Well, these scrubbers take our bad air, clean it. They pull out all the carbon dioxide and give us back clean air. So if you see me sucking on that hole, you know why. That'll be a problem if we get that far. All right, so we're moving outside. So this is still the basin, and now we're going into that channel. And when we get all the way outside, you're gonna have a much better view. That's no joke, I feel fire. like we should have David Attenborough narrating this thing. He's like, right now the underwater explorers are in the sub, locked in with just a little bit of air, and soon they will descend the depths down to 1,000 feet. Right now we're at 25 feet. 26, 27, we're going down. You ever been down to 30 feet, Robert, and dry? No. I Actually, I've never <laughs> been underwater and dry at the same time. That's one of those things that's never happened. Let me come, come in for one picture here. Yeah, right, man. Let's see if you got. <laughs> oh, there goes the water. This is really cool, man. Most what? We're just gonna go down as quick as possible now, and then on the way back, we're gonna check it out. Yeah. Slow it down. These are all things that I see when I'm free diving and when I'm diving, but you can see the, the ocean has more of a blue tint right now. Light comes from the sun and ambient light outside. The deeper we go, we lose light. See how dull and dark I look? Now I look better because I'm adding light. You're at 160 feet now. We're at 160. You see the thermocline right there? You see how it, it's like a more fresh water here. You can see it really well. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. On the camera. Here, now we're going through. Have you ever caught a lionfish? I've actually caught a bottom fishing. Have you really? Yeah, I have. What are we in? 250, yeah. Yeah, so 260 This is incredible, y'all. This is incredible. It's funny that we're inverted right now. Like, I look like I'm laying flat, but I'm actually laying like, <laughs> almost up and down look how cool that is so right now we're just we're just dropping quickly just to kind of kind of cool off the sub a little bit get a little bit more uh like cool temperature in here when's the last year we're 300 feet deep robert never <laughs> the answer is never as the davas descended down all forms of life just sand and rock and the occasional fish that has lost its way and just so you know we're not tied to anything we're totally by ourselves and he's driving this so if we wind up in venezuela that means he kind of got lost i took off the lock this is for safety basically if something would happen to us and that it's still on there a hatch lock by taking it off when we get back up to the surface and we're all dead, for example, they can't open the hatch and now they can. It'll be fine, don't worry. I would have yeah. done better without hearing that part. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the video that, uh... <laughs> Skip it. You know. Top just, side, top side. Okay. Uh, awesome top, would be uh, like, I'm feeling really ill now right, right now. Uh, <laughs> so we're at 550 feet right now. At around 800 feet, um, we can expect a little little bang, and it's just a fraction of a millimeter that uh, that moves, but it has to. Yeah, that's there, one. That's one. <laughs> and then the other one is going to be a little softer because we already had this one. HBO2 is 2100 and 105 in line pressure. Mains 252, no GFM, no alarms. HPR port side is 2000, starboard side same 2000. Um, all scrubbers functioning and current depth is 700. You have my full readings. Mains is 
252. 252, all copied. Roger that, all copied. Be advised, we're at 705. Uh, we're now visiting the rock at 720, a little bit east of the downline. 700 feet. Uh. So every time you guys throw a can overboard or something, it's gonna be there for a very long time. Look at it. Yeah. See the bottle up higher too? The mm -hmm. beer bottle? Yeah. I literally am about to fall forward. <laughs> I'm gonna be laying on this glass in just a second. I gotta turn around. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, hold the camera for you. Yeah, I'll, 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 add a little, I'll add a little air to, uh, to the front tank. He has all the lights outside shut off. Like, you don't see anything. So when we get down here, we're, we're slowly going down, letting the fish figure out, uh, okay, they're okay, they're okay. If we come down with lights, yeah, that's not good. Feel the walls? Yeah. yeah. Nice much, and cold. Much cold. It's like air conditioning. That line. There's going to be shark eggs. There's an anchor. Yeah. Yeah. So listen, so you'll see them hanging. There's one, one there, one over there. I only see two right now. Oh no, three. One, two, three. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. Well, someone dropped the anchor in the right spot. Yeah. Yeah, they were hung there forever. They found the only rock there was. Robertson shock over here. Look at him. Look at him. I, I'm just like trying to take it all in and think about this so that when I'm fishing, I know what I'm looking at. Oh, there's a fish there. There, that That's a blackjack. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good blackjack. See how he's devouring all the little crabs and little fish that are in there? Oh, look at that. You just ate. Oh, look at him hunt. He's, oh, he ate that fish. He got it. I saw the fish he's come high? out. Look, he's chewing. Top side, top side here is life support. We have uh, cabin pressure is one quarter negative. Um, oxygen is two zero decimal three. We're still at HBO two on port side is two one zero zero and 105 on line pressure. Mains 252, no GFM, no alarms. HP air on port side is 1900, starboard side, same 1900. Uh, current depth is 770, seven, uh, seven, and all scrubbers are function. We're at uh, the little fishing boat. Every 33 feet that you go underwater is an atmosphere. So zero to 33 feet is your, your one atmosphere. Once you go deeper than that, every 33 feet, it's an atmosphere. We're down 22 atmospheres right now. I want to take this and go check out the underground, the, the swordfish grounds. I want to see that so bad. Can you see it, Diego? Yeah. I want, I want, okay. And you know what's cool? You'll find these really cool little shells and stuff in those bottles. Can I take that shell, can I take that bottle home? Yeah. 792 feet. Here, this bottle is going in my office and literally when people ask, where do you get it? I'll say, well, I found it at the bottom at 790 feet. That's oh, no wow. joke. Almost 800 feet, yeah. There you go. Eight hundred and forty one feet. I see like a rock or something down there. We're almost at nine hundred and thirty feet. I don't know what you guys can see on the camera, but that'd be so cool if you can like your eyes adjust back to it. Right there. Seeing in that hole? In that hole? Yeah, right there, yeah. That is cool. Orange Ruffy.
He don't care. He's looking at us like, yeah, come on. Look at that guy out there. There's one to the left over there. Yeah. Looks like a piranha. He's trying to stay in the dark. He's like, turn the lights off. I'm trying to sleep. Did it already explode or is no. it unexploded? Uh, it's just rotted know, away. Exactly, no, it's just rotted away. Yeah, but it's, uh, I think they're unexploded. We know of about 12 of them, 10 or 12. Wow. I'm a huge World War II fan. We had tons of torpedoes. Torpedo bombers, that's planes that hold a torpedo that they fly down. And we also had torpedoes shot out of subs. Well, they were shot millions of them things. Where exactly did they go? Well, we just found one right there. It's sitting in uh, 959 feet of water off the north coast of Curacao. That crab's like, well, I guess this is how I'm gonna go out. <laughs> it's all over now. <laughs> Some huge animal with a big old bright light is about to eat me. <laughs> it's hanging up pretty close. Can we land right here behind you? Oh, he's got his... Can he scoop you up? He's got his horns up and everything. Can he scoop you up? Come on, scoop you up. Oh, shit. Can you come with us? Oh, look at that. That's <laughs> so stinking cool, man. We actually got a fish who <laughs> swam in our net. My whole life, I've always wanted to see the bottom of the ocean out here in the middle of the deep. And now we have. So before I went down, they had me right on a cup and they tied that cup onto the top of the sub and we made it down to 970 feet. That's what the cup now looks like. I don't know if y'all can read that. I love Sarah, Aria, and Emma. And on the back, the only thing that matters, TGB, TG. To God be the glory. I made it back, honey. How was it? How it was, was it? super cool. One, two, all right, so now Romeo is gonna do his last little trick for us. Yeah, here he goes. Oh my God. There we go. Day one of Curacao. Oh my gosh! Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, it's a little guy. Cute. It's a little guy. Yeah. But I need to change the water because he needs to get oxygen. It's an ambush hunter. Right. Yeah, I'll put it in this. Exactly. He will just wait until something just crosses his range and he'll take it. So you're talking little shrimps, little fish, so you some medium, uh, medium sized fish. They do have a pretty large mouth, um, right? They can, that's they not project. for there. It's it. That's a little scorpion fish from, uh, yeah, he's from uh, like 900. I think we got it at what, 900 or 900? Were you driving oh. the sub? Yeah. No way. How are you? I'm Sarah. Tico, nice to meet you. Yeah, it's okay. It's, okay. <laughs> it's now been two days later and our fish is doing just fine. This is Alex and his dad is Adrian. And how long ago did you guys start this project? We've been doing this for about 13 years. We've been collecting fish and kind of going into the aquarium trade as well as doing lots of research. So we've done over 60 species of fish. We've done countless invertebrates. Uh, sponges, corals, you name it, we found it. And where we are sitting right now used to be a dump. Yep. His dad came in, restored the land, and started a research project. For me to be able to go down in the sub and be a part of that was a once in a lifetime opportunity, and I want to thank you very, very much. It was wonderful having you, Chris. Welcome to your new home, little guy. Get out of the bucket. He doesn't want to come out of the bucket. This is home. No, we have a bigger home. You're getting moved into a mansion. Look at him. <laughs> no. Goofball. In a... There you go. Now swim down to the bottom. Yep. Swim down to the bottom. He's going to make his way down. Oh, look at him. See, he uses his pectoral fins to lay on the bottom and almost stand. This place is amazing. And we just got started. Thank you very much. Our pleasure. Thank you guys for coming. You guys, there will be links to everything in the description below. But for now, I'm going to go home, I'm going to get some sleep, and I'm going to see the Sarah and the girls next to the pool. Have a great day. Take care. God bless. And we are...
but break my glasses, gone.